Hey YouTube, I'm back with another little video. So I'm going to be having a real talk with you guys and just sharing what I'm kind of going through and being vulnerable. And I think that's going to help some of you and just encourage some of you. So this is a very real video. Um, I'm really frustrated, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and I've been frustrated for the past few days. I've had a bunch of spiritual attacks. I've had um, just stuff uh, hormonally kind of um, just be a bit of like a struggle in my life. And then just having a bunch of just separate little situations happening and then me being very like sensitive in this time. And I just feel very frustrated. And so today I was processing this morning something as I was watching this video um, of someone reading a verse that means a lot to me after they got a breakthrough. And this was a, a scripture verse that the Holy Spirit has highlighted to me about specific situations in my life. And I was just, and they were like, oh, I've been praying for a few months and then God came through. And I've had situations where the Holy Spirit has come through in a day, in a week, in a month. And, you know, like, he's so good. And I've had moments like that. But there's other situations in my life, like multiple ones, where for a long time, the Holy Spirit's like, this is what I'm going to do in your life. And the waiting can get so frustrating. And the Holy Spirit this whole week has been encouraging me. He's like, Ezra Lee, you're right where I want you to be. And I'm like... Lord, I know I'm right where I'm supposed to be. I, I'm in the center of your will for my life. And, and I know that deep down. But there's just part of me that's like, Jesus, I feel like I need a change. You know, like the Holy Spirit has had me, you know, be in um, my parents' house for the past year. And previous to that, I was kind of moving around a little bit um, ever since after like high school and stuff. I wasn't in one place for like too long. I was kind of moving around and I value that. Like I actually do like change, you know, and it's just been something that has been really frustrating me where I'm like, Jesus, I feel like nothing is changing, but yet there's so much in my heart, in my mind that the Holy Spirit is renewing, is literally um, training me to have the character I need so that when he does the very things in my life that he's like, I'm going to do this for you. This is what I'm doing. This is a miracle. This is what... This is what I, I'm going to be doing. This is what my hand is going to be doing that I can steward it because I have the character. And it's hard to, to watch. Um, and I'm just going to be really honest here. It's hard to watch other people for years get the things that you wanted the most or, or get these breakthroughs or have like, they're, they're praying just for a few weeks and they're like, oh, this massive breakthrough comes through. And you're like, I've been praying for years. I've been praying for like most of my life for certain things. And it's just not the time. And it can be very frustrating. And the Holy Spirit was putting on my heart that there's a group of you and you're just frustrated. You're like, Jesus, what? Like you see people, let's just say they're new believers and they're praying and like things are just happening so quickly for them. And you've been following Jesus for quite some time now. And you're just sitting in this place like, Lord, have you forgotten about me? Like, have you forgotten about me? And I know I'm not forgotten. And I know everything that the Holy Spirit has spoken to me will come to pass. And I know everything that the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding me to will happen because I'm submitted to him. But in these moments, just because I know all that, it doesn't mean I'm not feeling frustrated. I'm super frustrated today. Like, I woke up and I'm like, I'm frustrated. Like, I, there's just... I was like, Jesus, I trust you. I love you. But still in this moment, I'm feeling the emotion of being very frustrated. And the Holy Spirit was like, well, many other people are feeling like that as well as really. And so if you're with me and you're feeling a little frustrated and you're just like, Jesus, I'm feeling frustrated. Like, when are you going to come through for me? Like, it, you know, you're like, oh, am I doing something wrong? Do I need to be changing things up? And you've been seeing people like, let's just say you see people be like, oh, I fasted or I went to this service or I went to this thing and I did this and I did this. Then God came through and you're like, maybe I just need to fast. Maybe I just need to do that. And then God will come through. Make sure you're not manipulating Jesus or trying to. You can't manipulate him, but you might be trying to be like, oh, if I fast, I'll get this. So just check your heart posture. And, and just because it worked for somebody else in the exact same like formula, you, it's not a copy and paste with the Holy Spirit of like, oh, once if if 
you just do this exactly like them, then I'll do exactly in your life what I did in theirs. That's not, that's not how Jesus works. We all have unique lives. We all have unique ways that the Holy Spirit is moving and working in for our personalities, for the places that we're in, for our needs. And so I just really want to encourage you um, because I just think so many people are feeling frustrated and I know I am and I'm just in this place of like, I have so much peace. I have so much joy. I have so much like, no, I, I believe you, Lord. Like, I know you're going to do great things, but in this moment, I'm so frustrated. And sometimes you can literally trust the Lord and be like, nope, this is, this is what you're doing. And I know this, but in the moment, just when things back to back to back to back to back happen and you're just like, no, I, I'm feeling frustrated and I just want to give you permission to feel frustrated. If you've been holding it back, like, no, I trust the Lord. So I'm not going to let myself feel frustrated. No, I trust the Lord. So I'm not going to feel this way. Jesus knows that you're frustrated. He knows that it's hard for you to even comprehend how he moves and how he works because maybe you're a new believer and you haven't seen him come through for you and you see him come through for other people in like the littlest ways and you're like, but how come I don't see anything, Lord? And I just want to encourage you that I, I even pray, I'm like, Jesus, help me see today how you are moving. And even when I'm frustrated, I pray that I have eyes to see how you're moving in my life today and that I would be thankful for the ways that you're moving. And I pray the same for you, that your eyes would be able to see, okay, what is Jesus doing in my life? Who Who is he? What is he doing? And that you would be able to, yeah, just be encouraged. Because I know I just feel like I need, I don't know, like back-to-back -back encouragement. Um, and I'm going to, you know, spend time with the Lord today and just receive that from him. <clears throat> but I'm just very... Yeah, the past few days have actually taken a lot out of me and I feel very frustrated, but I know Jesus is good and my throat is literally like tired too because I feel tired, um, but Jesus is good and he's going to get, I know he's going to get, you know, me through, he's always getting, got, getting, got me to the other side of whatever I'm currently in and in whatever struggle I'm in or whatever lower time I'm in or whatever like middle part I'm in. Um, but I'm still just going to feel the emotion of being frustrated and, and that's okay. And I'm allowed to feel like that. And you're allowed to feel like that when, when things just kind of hit you all at once and, um, back to back as well. So be encouraged with that. And that's literally, I think this is actually going to be a little video. I just wanted to come on here and the Lord is like, people just need to see the real side of following Jesus. And like, I didn't get ready for the day. Um, I, I'm just coming to you really honestly. And um, that's how Jesus wants us to come to him is honest. And just being like, when you look in the story of uh, even David, he was so honest. He was like, Jesus, you're amazing. And then the other day he's like, I don't even know what you're doing. And then he's like, I'm the so grateful for who you've made me to be. And then the next day he's like, I'm but a worm. And so it's like these emotions, you're allowed to feel these emotions and have emotional fluctuation, but it's about the self-control within that. Like just because I'm frustrated, I don't want to take that out on people. I don't want to take that out on people in my life. So I bring it to the Lord and I'm like, Lord, I'm frustrated. So give me extra patience today because I can feel my patience is a little short when you're more frustrated. You're just like, I don't want to deal with that. You know, I don't want to deal with these types of situations. Um, but the Holy Spirit, he's like, no, I'll, I'll give you self-control. But you're allowed to feel your emotions heavily, deeply. And these more negative ones, you're allowed to feel that even when you trust the Lord. The fact that you're feeling frustrated or, yeah, I'm going to zero in on frustrated. The fact that you're feeling frustrated doesn't mean you don't trust the Lord. It just means you're kind of like, Jesus, I just, I I'm... I feel kind of frustrated with what's going on and, and you're honestly expressing that and he and he sees you and he gets it and um yeah I'm grateful for for his heart in that but anyways that's all I really wanted to share I just want to relate with you and extend this like hey I'm going through it too um and I've seen Jesus come through in miraculous ways um in little ways in like bigger ways um, just in the practical though, none of these like massive signs and wonders, but I've just seen people meet individuals in their time of need, meet me in my time of need, like show up for provisions, you know, um, be in the right place at the right time with certain connections. Like I've seen Jesus in the practical, in the hands-on aspects of life. And I know he's real and I know he's good. 
And honestly, it takes a lot more faith to praise Jesus and to even say what I'm saying when I'm feeling how I'm feeling because I don't let my feelings dictate how I view Jesus. I don't let my feelings distort the goodness of God. I'm not going to let it. I can feel what I'm feeling, but I'm not going to project that on my relationships with the Lord or my relationships. I don't want to be a person who does that. I want to go alone with the Lord and say, I don't like this, frustrated with this. Please help me with this. I give it to you. Help me have strength to do my day. And that's how I'm going to go about my life and how I've been able to, on my toughest days, encourage other people. On my toughest days, be there for other people because I give it to the Lord and I let him refresh me and encourage me. And he lets me be frustrated. He lets me feel some of these heavier emotions. And he's never like, oh, you shouldn't feel that. He's just like, come to me and I'll, and I'll be with you in this emotion. And if you're anything like me... And you like to brush over your emotions. Like that's uh, that's what I've been trying to do the past couple of days. It's like, oh, I understand this. Or, oh God, I know what you're doing here. Or, oh God, in the future, it's going to be totally fine. And you're going to, it's going to be good. And I'll just brush it off. And the Lord's like, no, in this moment, what are you feeling? Frustrated? Well, feel it. You know, and I'm like, oh, I know this is what's actually going on. And the Lord's like, yes, but you're feeling this way. So feel it. You need to feel it. And then you'll give it to me. You'll process it out. And then we'll move on. And then we'll keep living your life. You know, you're going to keep doing your thing. And so don't just, just because you trust the Lord and you're like, no, he's going to come through for me. You're like, I'm just going to not feel like just, I really want to encourage you to feel all the emotions. And I said to myself the other day, well, I said to myself, like, Lord, like just the concept of Lord, you are, you're good. Like I knew, I know God is good and I know that the Lord is good and I know that, um, in my mind when all my emotions are swirling and when everything is kind of just crashing down that I was like Jesus I know you're good even when my feelings are kind of like wow you know just not not in the most uh, optimistic place you know and I used to be someone who would just try to be always in the optimistic place and I said that to the Lord the other day I was like honestly I was like Jesus kind of miss not feeling and I was like that's a sad thought um but I was like I don't want to go back but there was definite years where I shut down my emotions completely like I was like I don't want to feel due to my past and and things like that and so now that I'm feeling again and I feel deeply and I feel very I have very big emotions but thankfully so far I've been able to unless it's really hitting you like control like control it in the sense of Sometimes I just like cry, you know, when you have those emotions really hit, you're like, I just, oh, you're just crying. But when I'm around people, um, I'm very much like, I don't want to use my emotions against people. I want to just express it, but I don't want to use my emotions against people. Um, I, people have tried to emotionally manipulate me before. I've been around a lot of that. And I'm like, I just don't, I don't want to do that. But I want to encourage you that like emotional, um, just expressing your emotions is not manipulation. Um, but if you are expressing your emotions in hopes that someone will like, like just do what you want them to do. And that's your heart posture. Like if I express this, then they'll do. And you have this like way of going about it. That's emotional manipulation. But if you're like, Hey, your action made me feel like this. And this actually makes me feel sad or mad or blah, blah, blah. Like, this is how I'm feeling. You're to like, that is totally healthy to say, but some people might not receive it in a healthy way depending on their past, depending on how they're interpreting it and just the lens that they're viewing it. But I just want to encourage you with that. Um, sometimes I'm scared. I'm like, I don't want to even like mention my emotions because I don't want to be manipulative. And that's not Jesus's heart at all. He wants us to be able to express how we're feeling, but not blame the people, but just say, hey, this is how I'm feeling right now based off of this experience or this like interaction or whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, so I... I know what it's like to feel big emotions and to honestly just go to the Lord in that and be like, Jesus, can you sit with me in this emotion? Because there's been many times where I'll just brush past an emotion and be like, no, I know it's going to be okay. But sometimes you just need to sit in an emotion and be like, here we are. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off here soon and I'm just going to sit in my frustration and let Jesus meet me in my frustration and start my day and um, see what he has for me today and just kind of be and abide in him and that's how I live my life so anyways bless you guys in all the ways thank you so much for listening and I just you're not alone I, I really I get you Holy Spirit speaks to me 
quite often and I have a very close relationship with Jesus that I don't take lightly and I I love him deeply but I still have days where I feel frustrated where I feel sad where sometimes I'm like this makes me angry or I'm like I don't like that or like that hurt me and I, or I'm like that really made me happy or like oh I really love that or oh cool I'm intrigued by that like all any type of the emotions like I'll feel it all and I'm learning to discern or actually be like okay what emotion am I feeling because for so long I didn't even express my emotions right so um, it's been a cool process to be like oh this is frustration not not anger it's just I'm frustrated okay or like this is oh I'm kind of hurt or like ooh, like um I feel this way you know and, and it's just really cool so I pray that you become more emotionally healthy as well as you trust in Jesus and let him heal your mind and heal your heart and let you be in your emotions and he'll sit there with you. Anyways, bless you guys in all the ways and I'll be back whenever I'm back.